Hi, good afternoon. I hope you all had a good lunch and um, not falling asleep, right? Uh, I'll try my best to give a more uh, exciting, interesting uh, presentation of my journey, right? Um, I'll start off with... One minute, huh? All right, I, um, I'm Stephen Kong, right? Um, I'm 55 years old. I'm working for Novartis, which is a pharmaceutical company, right? Um, I've been in the pharmaceutical industry for the last 35 years. So basically, I've quite uh, well versed in terms of looking into uh, um, medic, uh, uh, disease awareness, right? Okay. Uh, these are my family. My wife, she, she's with me. Um, my daughter Carmen and this is my son uh, Kelvin. All right. Okay. Um, I would like to start with this quote. I think this is very interesting, right? Uh, if uh, Jumbo Naden was here just now, he would have a still have a stolen this quote from me. Okay. Uh, we cannot direct the wind, but we can adjust the sail. That's where we are now here. Actually, we are adjusting the sail. Okay. Um, I'll start my journey uh, by uh, sharing with you um, all my screening. Uh, being um, in the pharmaceutical industry, I'm very particular um, I'm very careful about my health. Um, I've been doing screening, annual screening for the last uh, how many years? Since 2020, uh, 20, uh, since year 2000. That's when I was uh, 40 years old, right? And um, I started doing my PSA uh, test when I was in 50. Thus, I see the importance of uh, for all men to do their uh, PSA test when they reach at least, if not 50, 40. All right? Okay? Um, my result is, uh, is rising over the years, so it's a big concern until the year uh, 2012. Um, when I did my last, um, my last PSA in 2012 in September, uh, my PSA has gone beyond the four mark. And that's the time when my, um, I went to see a urologist in a primary medical center and I was given medications, uh, PH drugs, right, to suppress my, uh, my basically the uh, PSA result. And I've done that for a couple of years. Um, and the result is still very yo-yo, as you can see, but right, it should be, it should be uh, below uh, two, at least. But somehow it became very yo-yo. So uh, by 2014, uh, the result is still going up. And what happened was that um, in 20, 2015, uh, my urologist uh, advised me to go and do a biopsy because I suspect he felt that something is wrong with me, right? Uh, in spite of on medications. So what I did was that I did a um, um, trust biopsy uh, in April, okay? And this was the result. And it was confirmed that um, I had cancers uh, in my cells, uh, cancer cells in, in, in the in the biopsy. The screening score was um, three and four. Um, of course, um, at the spur of the moment, I I was very calm because I know that uh, when I started taking medication, I know one day it will come, right? So I was pretty calm. Um, uh, the doctor also um, basically he also um, uh, consoled me, right? And I went back. I, I spoke to my wife. And the urologist uh, gave me some options of uh, how I move forward. So what I did was that um, there are several options given to me. One was it was um, active surveillance. That, which, that is, if I don't do anything, right, uh, just uh, monitor my PSA. Um, another option was uh, surgery, right? Surgery. There are basically several options as well, right? Uh, radio. Therapy, hormone therapy, as well as chemotherapy. However, um, because of my age and my children are grown up, so uh, I say let's remove it, right? So it don't give me that kind of burden to think that why that thing is still there, right? So what I did was that um, the urologist uh, recommended me to uh, HKL uh, to basically to seek a uh, second um, opinion and also uh, what treatment options are available. So. Um, I consulted Mr. Mulary, right? 
So uh, one of the options that I opt for was uh, basically is a uh, robotic surgery. I wonder how many of you are um, aware of this robot, right? This is not transformer, right? It's not transformer. Actually, it's a it's a surgery. It's a basically it's a, a device. Well, uh, that's where um, quite a number of us were operated with this machine, right? Uh, this machine is very unique in the sense that actually the 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 surgeon is actually um, is away from the OT, right? He's in the console, so he's playing the computer game. Right? Uh, of course, I know that uh, the surgeon will have a good time uh, playing the game here. Okay, right? So, um, as you know, um, you know, in Chinese, right, have a lot of these um, uh, pantang things, right? After surgery, uh, can I do this, can I do that, right? So um, my wife uh, already told me what the do's and what the don'ts, you see. So um, of course, uh, after that, we are not supposed to eat a lot of things, you see. So before my operation, I really go and wet everything from my stomach, you can see, right? I really wet until, right? Kau kau and this one, right? Really, uh, in Chinese, it's silent everything, right? Um, not only that, even, even when the night I admitted to the prior hostels, right? I was also having my uh, good meal, right? Okay, uh, just to share with you, um, right? Why I did my operations in a private uh, medical center, um, even though I uh, was given a, a slot in HKL. Uh, the reason why I did that is for two particular reasons. One is because um, I work in a corporate, so I have a corporate uh, insurance. I also bought my own insurance, okay? Um, Second most important reason is because, as you know, in a government setup, there is always this quota, uh, patient treatment quota. So if I were to do it in HKL, right, I may be depriving someone who may not have the kind of funding that I have. So I think this is very selfish. So uh, because of that, I opt to do it in a, a private medical center so that another patients who may need more than I do can do their operations in the hospital. Okay. Um, as you can see, I, I was very joyous. I, I was in the OT by 7.45. 40, um, and my operation took uh, quite a long time. Um, up to, uh, I came up, according to my wife, I blur blur, I don't know what time, uh, it was uh, 5.20. The reason why um, I took unusual uh, time is because um, Mr. Morelli was one of the surgeons that operated me, that he wanted to make sure that he wanted to preserve all my nerves. He think that I still want to go for it, oh. <laughs> right? Okay, so uh, that's the reason why I took uh, a bit unusual, long, longer time than others. Of course, um, uh, when I came out, um, what is important is I have um, a lot of pretty nurses uh, took care of me, Right, but I men are very, very, very unsatisfactory. Right, besides all these nurses, I also employ a 24 hour personal nurse. This is my nurse, <laughs> okay. Right, um, she was with me for the, for the last four days. Right, okay. Um, what is you see, the beautiful thing about this um, robotic surgery, which I'm not trying to advertise, right, is is less invasive, right? If I were to go for um, an open surgery, I would be lying on the bed, right? Uh, for at least one or two weeks. However, uh, with this uh, advanced technology, somehow I managed to uh, recover um, speedily, right? Okay? Um, as you see on day two, uh, my friends uh, visited me, right? And I was already on uh, a liquid diet, right? Okay? And day three, I already start walking, right? I already start walking, and also, um, as you can see, uh, it, it doesn't give me that kind of uh, burden that, that, that I would expect to see, right? Okay. By day four, uh, I was already on uh, on uh, what call it? Um, hard food, right? Okay, I enjoy myself, right? So, um, as you can see, I eat a lot, okay. Um, a lot of people like to know how much it costs if um, you were to do it in a private medical center. Okay? Uh, it's not very expensive. I just burn one car. What car? Okay? Right? 
Um, by day five, I'm very happy. I went home, right? Of course, I don't have so many nurses take care of me except my 24 hours nurse. I was very happy. Um, I went back home. Okay. Uh, the next question she will ask how I manage myself, right? I was very lucky because I worked for a very good company, right? I was given a two months confinement. Not only ladies, uh, men also confinement, uh, two months, uh. okay? Right? So how I manage myself um, in my recovery uh, stage is um, I go for a proper diet, right? That was forced to, uh. okay? Um, because of the two months confinement, I had plenty of rest. I don't want to look at my email, I don't want to do anything, and luckily my boss never called me. Um, I avoid stress. I think that's very important. I mean, during your recall period, I think you have to be really calm, relax. Um, if you stress and you think about your work, I think this will impact your recovery period. So for those who are going to uh, for the surgery, make sure that you have enough rest, uh, relax yourself, right? Make sure that you don't stress yourself, right? Okay? And of course, um, that's the only time that my wife loved me. Because I did a lot of cooking myself during uh, lunch because she's working. I did a lot of cooking myself, right? And the other thing is, um, of course, you know, in, in our surgery, there are two concerns, right? One is uh, incontinence, right? The other is, um, of course, uh, erectile dysfunction, okay? If those people who don't know what's erectile dysfunction, dysfunction, that means that um, cannot sing the karakula, <laughs> okay, right? Um, I'm very lucky in the sense that um, how I recover from uh, those uh, uh, incontinence is uh, basically I did diligently Kegel exercise. Right? Kegel exercise basically is to strengthen our uh, lower part of the muscle so that we don't have um, uh, uh, incontinence uh, problem. Okay? And of course, um, I also practice um, a lot of Qigong, Qigong exercise. Okay? Uh, I'm sure a lot of you also practice Qigong, uh, right? Um, because why I put a pampers is because I'm very unique in the sense that um, due to the advancement of the surgery, right, um, I only use one pamper, right? I mean, actually, I'm advertising for pampers, right? Only one diaper, whatever it is, huh? uh, when I remove my, my uh, urinary bag. This shows that how great is the, uh, the technology, okay, right? Um, of course, as I said, um, the only thing that that, that, that disappoint me is I was not allowed to eat chicken by my, my, my wife, right? I don't know how many of you believe it in Chinese that this terrible can eat chicken. So I was somehow very diligent and today also I still don't eat chicken in front of my wife. <laughs> Alright, okay? So, but I asked my wife, okay, can I, if I cannot eat, how about, can I call? Alright? She said, go ahead. Terrible, knowing that you're tapole bakai. <laughs> right? Okay? So, um, besides that, I think the other important thing is um, for post operative, you um, make sure that you do uh, the, the kind of a physiotherapy. I think HKL has, um, has got the best uh, physiotherapy uh, uh, practices. I'm very, very appreciative of that. Um, I did one month physiotherapy uh, every, almost every week I went there. Right? Okay? Uh, these were some of the exercises that I did. Okay. Besides that, of course, I also do during that two months of my um, home uh, leave. I also did a lot of uh, exercise like qigong. Right? These are some of the qigong exercises that I did. I think that that helps me a lot in terms of recovery because I did very early morning. You never believe it. I woke up at five. By five thirty, I already in MBSJ. Right. While my wife was doing the other qigong, I do my own uh, light exercise. Okay. Um, uh, besides that, of course, uh, healthy food, I think uh, we also, um, it's good to take some supplement, right? Um, I'm not doing advertisement, but I also had some supplements I want to run fast so that there's no advertisement, right? And you can see, for two, this is what happened to me um, in my operations. You can see that the recovery is very nice, right? Um, this is not because of I went to a cosmic surgery to do it, uh, all right? it's a natural healing process. Okay. Um, I think what's the other important is for those who have undergone surgery, don't forget you have to follow up closely with your surgeon, right? And every three months I do my PSA test, and so far so good, right? Um, I've done three three uh, tests, sorry, I've done three tests, and then it's all uh, below one. 
Okay. Um, life has to go on, definitely. Whatever happened to us, all right, okay. Uh, that's not the end of the world, all right. What's most important is, um, this is the quote I would like to share with you all, is basically, right, if I alone, I can't do so much. I only can do so little. But with others, I think I can do much better, all right, in terms of how I move on. Why do I say that is because, um, uh, I think family support is very important. Family bondage, right, is very important. Um, uh, besides that, of course, um, I also spend some time on holiday with my, my wife, okay? Uh, for the nursing hours, uh, this is the payback. <laughs> okay, I just came back from Italy. Um, besides that, of course, don't forget, somebody need our money. So I also do a lot of chitty uh, chitty Malaysia, right? Okay? And also, um, I'll do a lot of exercise, in fact, after, um, after uh, the fourth month, right, upon um, uh, the advice of the doctor, I went back for my badminton, I play uh, quite a fair bit of badminton, I, I go for squash, I cycle a bit, right, but I don't cycle that much because of the wound, right, okay, but it's important, um, you must go back to your normal life, okay, you should move forward and not think about what happened in the past. And I also um, uh, join quite a fair bit of support group. Every Saturday, I go to uh, UNC uh, and time permits, right? Exercise, right? Together with a uh, prof, uh, uh, prof Hatta, as you can see just now. Uh, I join uh, the the run. I'm very patriotic. I still wear the cap. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I also do quite a fair bit of community work. I think it's important to spend time with. Um, with the society, right, okay? And also, uh, this is most important among all the slacks, right? Don't forget, you still have to, life has to go on, you still have to makan. You can see all these are my makan friends, right? I still enjoy makan, okay, right? Uh, rest assured, no chicken here, okay? Um, I like to end, end my presentation in this slide in the sense that um, I think it's very meaningful. One must not, uh, one must not forget that Recovery is brought about not by your physician, all right, but by yourself. Uh, um, in terms of healing, right, the way the way you think, the the, the kind of empowerment that you have, right? Okay. Um, thanks. Life is cheers up.